Yes, let's go. Can I get two? Yeah, you got another. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Over the next 30 days, I'll be working on increasing my vertical jump. I've set out some goals, and I have a friend that set up a perfect workout program for me for 30 days to become a more explosive athlete. Over the next 30 days, my goal is to increase my vertical jump eight inches. This may seem far-fetched, but I thoroughly believe I can do this. One of my other goals is I want to be able to windmill dunk. So over the next 30 days, I'll be training and preparing to increase my vertical jump by eight inches and become able to windmill dunk. So what we're doing today, today is not day one, today is testing day. So I'm gonna come out and test my vertical as is right now and then tomorrow. Tomorrow is when the real work starts and we're gonna get after it and increase my vertical jump. You know, I'm gonna go with my least dominant jump first. I'm gonna go with the right leg one foot and kind of progress from there. Um, my two foot jumps aren't great. My best way to jump is jumping off my left. So I'll be going through all four different ways of jumping, slapping a piece of tape on the backboard and, and then measuring the distance between my standing reach and where that tape is. And that'll give me an accurate representation of what my Any current higher? base vertical yeah, jump higher. is. There it is. All right guys, we just went over the numbers with my vert and I'm way more surprised than I thought I was gonna be. My weakest jump is off of my right foot on one leg and going right left off two legs. Those are actually the same number at 27.5. That's an okay vert. I'd say that that's pretty decent, but I think I can work on that. Shout out to my boy Ben Patrick with Knees Over Toes guy and his athletic training group. They're putting me through these workouts. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in some of my own stuff that I've done in the past that have helped improve my jump. So I'm excited to get to work and uh, We'll see you guys tomorrow, day one of training. All right, I'm about to jump into this day one workout. I'll explain everything as we go. This weighted back pedal up the hill is the simplest way to eliminate knee pain and strengthen your quads. And it makes for a perfect warm up. So I'll be doing these more tough workouts for three days a week, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The awesome thing about these workouts, they only take about 30 minutes, man. 30 minutes out of your day and could potentially increase your vertical substantially. I'm all down for that. This day one workout is the Patrick step up and let me tell you, I was struggling day one to find the proper strength to effectively do this workout. But I can definitely see how over time it can increase my bounce. And day one is complete. I already feel way more range of motion in my legs, my hips specifically. Day two tomorrow. And now we're on day two and it's had some unfortunate circumstances take place. Last night when I was playing basketball, I got kneed in the quadricep and absolutely have an awful contusion in my quad right now. It's blown up. It feels like a watermelon's in my leg. It really hurts because I was looking forward to my right leg having the most improvement out of it all. So let's see how this right leg holds up throughout the rest of these 30 days. All right, day three, I'm headed into the gym. Today is one of our heavy lift days. It's Wednesday, so every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday we have heavy lifts. Today will be split squats as our number one workout, and we do some other stretches and workouts involved around that. The swelling has gone down a little bit in my watermelon leg, so we'll see how it will perform with this lift. The nice thing about these workouts is it's only three lifts per week, so it really gives your body the proper time to recover over each day. Doing these workouts increases your strength, but as well as strength, increases your range of motion and flexibility through all the different lifts. Today I'm showing you split squats, but there's also four to five other exercises that increase range of motion, flexibility, and strength. As you can see, my range of motion on my left side is way better than on my right due to my quad contusion. Day three complete. Honestly, doing those workouts helped my quad out a lot. As we progressed, my quad got better and better. Um, my range of motion just kept increasing through all the different stretches we did. All right, boys, day five on the jump journey, and we've got Squats, here we go. All right, today's squat day, here we go. This was my first time squatting with weight on my back since probably high school. I just completed my 10 sets of squats. Timo's cranking his out right now. I am gassed, I haven't squatted with a bar on my back in forever, but my knees are feeling good, let's do it. Day six, another much needed rest day. And day seven on the jump journey is underway. I'm gonna be totally honest and transparent with you guys. I am going through it these last three days. And I know I'm going through it because I've had two hip surgeries. I've had like really major hip problems. And that's kind of the reason I don't really work on my lower body as much as I should because just the pain throughout the day and especially at night is awful. But 
I'm just really hoping after like this next full week that that pain will kind of go away a little bit and I'll be able to strengthen up all these areas and I like I like what's going on I like what's being strengthened up and there's there's a lot of good things that are taking place with my body right now and I can definitely feel a noticeable difference in my strength and my I have minimal knee pain right now which is awesome which is I've never been able to say I've always had knee pain the main thing right now is just my hip problem I think it comes a lot from the contusion I had on day I think one or two um, has played a big part in my knee my hip pain as well so I'm gonna continue to grind it out and uh, do whatever I can to make it happen, but the pain's been pretty awful, and that's one of the things I wanna do with this 30, 30 day journey was be totally honest and transparent with you guys. So, just wanted to give you an update. Day seven, that's where I'm at, and a lot of pain. Day seven, though, is a rest day, um, but I'm gonna try to get out and get a jog in. Day eight or nine, something like that. Either way, I'm sore and we got step ups. Let's get it. All right, so we finished the step ups, then we moved on to the Jefferson curl and butterfly curl type thing. Our flexibility has increased so much. Look at Timo. Timo can get. Are you guys, are you guys ready for this? Man, this is. I've always kind of been like right around here, like top of the toes kind of guy. Which is pretty good. Yeah, but now, guys. Oh, I'm in there, dude. Are you serious? I'm in there right now. You're comfy too. I can grab. I can almost get my ball on the ground. That's awesome. So one of the biggest things with these exercises is increasing flexibility. It's something I have hated working on growing up because I'm not flexible at all. I've never been able to even touch my toes. And after these workouts, check this out. Okay, this might not be a big moment for you guys, but for me this is huge. Day nine right here. Oh yeah! Oh, there it is. Uh oh! I've never been able to look through my armpit like this. Wow. It's unbelievable. Flexibility increasing. Bert also increasing. Let's get it. And day 10, rest day. Day 11, time to get split squats in. Day 11, my split squat range of motion has increased drastically. And on day 13, this is by far the most weight I've comfortably had on my back since high school. Day 12, 13, 14, just passed. Those were two rest days, one squat day. Day 15, we got Patrick step ups. Disclaimer, this is not the proper setup to do this workout. I hope you do it in a gym in a safer manner. I almost lost it all. <laughs> I almost died on that, so whatever you guys do, if you're doing this workout, don't, don't, don't do it like this because that's sketchy. Today is day 17, day 16 was a rest day. Today we've got split spot, ooh, split spot, splish splash. Today we've got splish splash squats, but first, we're gonna do a vert test. So we're gonna test the vert. I uh, I think I'll have a, a, a couple inches improvement at least. Ended up not testing my vert, but went out and got some dunks in to test out the quad and see how it's doing. <laughs> Today is day 19 out of 30. We're almost two thirds of the way done. I'm loving these workouts. I feel stronger than I've ever felt in my lower body for sure. Yesterday was a rest day. I did a little upper body work and some core work. That's about it. But other than that, I took it pretty easy on my legs. So we're about to go get these squats. I was by myself at the gym today, but that's not gonna stop the gains. And today is day 20. Do you know what day it is? What's the day? I don't know. I don't know, sir. She doesn't know and either do I, but it's somewhere either 21 or 22. Here we go. Day 22 was a rest day, but I wanted to get out and finally do my first plyometric workout. Day 23 is split squats on a lower platform, which is way harder. All right, guys, just finished up day 25 squats. It's the most I've squatted. Sorry, I didn't record the actual squats itself. It was just stupid packed up in the gym and I didn't want to be that guy. I made up to 175 pounds. That's the most I think I may have ever done. I've had the two hip surgery, so I don't really squat ever or often at all. So I'm pretty excited about that. I think that's awesome. We'll take it. Day 26 through 30, I was finally able to go out and test my new vertical balance. I even completed one of my number one goals of being able to windmill. This is a pretty awesome moment as I've always wanted to be able to do this. And we've made it to day 30. This has been 30 of the most exciting days I've ever been through because I've gone through a complete transformation with this vertical jump. It's It's been insane. I've set goals that I didn't really think were attainable in 30 days. and. 
we've completed them. You guys have seen over the 30 days, my bounce has increased exponentially to where I'm jumping higher than I ever have in my entire life. But guys, today is day 30. My original goal starting out this 30 day transformation was to increase my vertical by eight inches. And that was a lofty, lofty goal. So we're gonna test that today and see if I've completed it. The other one though, my other main goal was to be able to windmill at the end of this 30 days. And guys, we've done it. I can windmill now. I never thought in my life I would be able to windmill. So I'm super stoked on that. That bottom red stick right there is at 10 feet. That's the same height as a basketball hoop. So we're gonna get some warm up jumps in and then we're gonna get into the real deal right here. Bottom rung is 10 feet. So let's see how I can get it. The highest jump I had last time was like right at around 11 feet. So let's see what I can do this time. So just off the warm up, guys, we already have a five inch increase in my vertical, which is kind of insane to hear. That's my goal right there. That was eight, eight inches. So off my right leg, we've already reached the goal of improving by eight inches, which is insane. I've never been able to jump off my right leg. I've had two hip surgeries on this right leg. So we're gonna keep jumping until I can't hit any more of those little sticks up there. Right now that puts it at what? 11, two and a half. 11, two and a half. That's over eight inches increase on my vertical. <laughs> what was I doing before this? I don't, what, what's going on? Let's go. Woo! Got it. I know I for sure got an eight inch increase out of it. So I've met my goal off this leg. Now we're starting the two foot progressions. First one is gonna be the right left jump. And the highest I got was 10 feet, six inches. So, I think I'm gonna blow this one out up too. So guys, we've already increased off a warm up jump. We've increased the vert by two inches. Okay, that's my worst jump. I'm hyped with that four and a half to five inch increase right there. Next up, we got the left right jump. The highest I've reached on this was 10, nine. So we're gonna go up, see what we got now. Just the increase right there. That's cool. The warm-up jump, three inch increase right there. 30 days of hard work and we're getting this type of these type of numbers is insane. Here we go. Jump number two. Three and a half inches down. Here we go. That's awesome. I'll tell you that's like eight inches total over both my two foot jumps if you count them, combine them. So We'll count it as an eight inch increase. So we're going off the left foot now. This is my best jumping leg. Most excited to see the numbers on this one. Our base is at 11 feet. So we're gonna work on top of that. Let's see what we got. Two inch increase off the warm up jump. We'll take that, I'm kind of stoked. Here we go. Second jump. So we're at 11, three. That's a three inch increase right there. probably be my last jump right here. Let's do it, man. 30 days of work right here. Paying off. Come on, babe. I need to cheer me on. Oh, you can do it. Come on. Yes, let's go. Can I get two? Yeah, you got another. Let's go. Let's go. That was the last jump right there. Guys, my vert has gone crazy in this last 30 days. We got a four inch increase off my good jumping leg. That's insane. And an eight inch increase on oh, my bad jumping like what this is insane and then four inch increases off both my two foot jumps i might be i might be a dunker soon i've got to give a huge shout out to pepperdine sports performance for letting me come out to my old school and doing this test right here i mean it's a beautiful atmosphere out here shout out to adam and all the strength and conditioning coaches out here at pepperdine they get the job done man it's 70 degrees in the winter time right now out in malibu so you can't beat this had to rep the waves today go waves man Make sure you go follow this guy over at Pepperdine Sports Performance on Instagram and uh, yeah, party on. Guys, these last 30 days has been absolutely insane. I'm so happy with how this vert program has gone and I gotta give a big thank you to Ben and the athletic training group for putting me through these workouts. I didn't document the entire workout. I usually just picked one workout from each day to record because I don't wanna give away you know, their method and secret. And I want you guys to know this is not a sponsored video in any way. They hooked me up with the program. 
and I'm just doing an honest review of how it worked and how it went and it eliminated knee pain, increased my vert by like 20 something inches overall combined. And my flexibility is better than it has ever been. So big thank you to those guys. And you know what? It's time for the giveaways. So what we're gonna do to announce the giveaway winner is I'm gonna leave it in your guys' hands. So the first two people to comment, absolute unit dunk program, are gonna walk away with the AirPods and the Xbox. That's all you have to do. Go. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like. If you want to see more like this, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.